Good afternoon, everyone. I'm out here on number nine today, and I want to talk a little bit about a couple different things as we get ready to reopen. First and foremost, I'm standing here in the bunker on number nine to the right of the green. As you probably remember for the past, in a second, you're going to see a little split screen to show you it for sure. When I stood in this bunker, I couldn't even see the putting surface. Now, when I stand here, I can see the whole green surface. So it's one of the great advantages now to the bunker on number nine. Now, you're going to see in all the bunkers throughout the golf course that we've renovated, when you get new sand in them, it plays a lot different than sand that's been in place for a very long time. And I've brought Ben Pelicani, our director of instruction from down at the Golf Performance Center out here with me today. Give a couple tips on the right way to hit out of these new bunkers since that sand is a lot thicker. Ben? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, one nice thing about this new uh, bunker here on number nine is now we don't have to get so extreme. And so the nice part is, is we can use a strategy when we get into this heavy sand in this specific case even though the pin is short-sided with which i love this new little ledge here on number nine to give us a new pin location but we can still use this strategy even in this heavy sand and if you think about it when we think about heavy sand the hardest part is getting the club to get through heavy sand it's a lot like getting through heavy rough and so what we want to do is use our equipment to our advantage so typically on a shot of this length, I would typically grab my 60 degree or my most lofted wedge. But in this situation, because of the heavy sand, I want to increase my bounce or the difference between the leading edge and the trail edge to get this club to get in and out of the sand even faster. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my next wedge, which is my 54. I'm going to open it up to the loft that is of my normal 60 degree club when I get in a bunker. So if normally I'd say open that club up about five or six degrees, I got six more degrees to work with. So I'm gonna do the equivalent of adding 11 degrees of loft to this 54, get it up to where I normally would have my 60 degree wedge. And what that's done, it is added close to five to six more degrees of bounce or more ability to get this club to get through this this sand a little bit quicker. So I'm going to open up this club face, same technique as usual, handle gets a little low, get my feet in. Now be careful because of the new sand, it's going to want to quickly sink in. So some of you who have traditionally dug really hard, be careful. We don't need to get in that hard on this new sand. Open that face up, let the extra bounce help get through that sand a little bit quicker. Don't be afraid now, mostly here on number nine because the floor of the bunker has been raised to grab that next wedge, open it up and let that club get through that sand a little bit quicker. That is fantastic, Ben. I love that idea and it's not something I would have thought about, but it's definitely something that you should consider. Adding bounce, remember, allows that club to get through the sand a lot easier. That's a brilliant way to do it and still not have crazy amounts of height to your bunker shot. Love that. I would take advantage of that as you get into these new bunkers and just know over time they will settle. They'll get more to our standard bunkers, but a great tip, Ben. Thank you so much.